Hello and thank you for your interest in the Master of Science in Human Nutrition and Dietetics at University College Cork. This is a two-year full-time program and is an NFQ Level 9 award. In this short presentation, I will try to address some of the questions that we are frequently asked from prospective candidates. It should be noted that this is a very, very popular career choice um, and we receive a very high volume of inquiries about this programme. So it is hoped that um, this short presentation will address some of the most common questions that we get asked about um, on a weekly basis. First of all, regarding suitability for the programme, one of the top questions that I get asked as programme director is, if I do not have a Bachelor of Science or Master's, can I apply? And typically these, these candidates will, will send you quite a long and detailed email about they have a background in a completely different discipline. It may be, for example, accounting, commerce, business, um, other, other, any other area, engineering, and they have decided that they're very passionate about nutrition and would like to become a dietitian. And unfortunately, the answer is no, unless you have um, a Bachelor of Science in a human biology related discipline, um, you are not suitable for this program. This program is an applied form of nutrition and so the content would be far too advanced for anybody who does not have an undergraduate um, science degree. The next question that we get asked is, I have a science degree but not in a human biology related field, can I apply and what are my options? And again, we receive many inquiries from students with backgrounds in, for example, psychology, um, social science, engineering, commerce, commerce, um, accounting, finance, human resources. I mean, there's a whole variety of backgrounds. Um, and again, unfortunately, you know, you may have a BSc in, in one of these disciplines, but um, it's it doesn't mean that you will have completed the necessary credits which in, in physiology, biochemistry, anatomy and basic sciences, which would mean that you would be able for the content in this course. If you are one of these people who is really passionate about going back and training to become a dietitian, the, the easiest possible route for you to take is to go back and do an, another undergraduate degree in dietetics. And there are three year undergraduate programs available in some UK colleges, but it certainly would be almost impossible for you to get into a master's program without having um, a BSc in a in an appropriate um, field and human biology related fields. And we discuss this further on the FAQ section of our website. Um, another question we get asked a lot is, I have a BSc, an NFQ level eight award, but I don't think I have enough biochemistry or physiology. I get at least two or three inquiries a week from students who have this worry. So some of these students are enrolled in programs like um, nutrition and health, food science, public health, um, other disciplines and uh, unfortunately a lot of them don't have enough biochemistry or physiology credits so you know if they if they know early on in their undergraduate degree that this is what they want to do at postgraduate level they can take additional modules so carry additional credits of modules in these topics while an undergraduate degree and there's usually a very small cost associated with doing that and um, so that is an option if you if you can plan ahead if you find yourself in fourth year of a Bachelor of Science degree and you are realising now that you don't have enough biochemistry or physiology, there are still options open to you, which I'll cover um, in, in the following slide. So some students are very organised and they will take these extra credits while undergoing a, a BSc in a different discipline with not enough um, of these modules. Um, others don't really re realise what they want to do until they're in fourth year. And so they'll contact us saying, you know, um, what can I do? Um, we're not in a position, unfortunately, to look at people's transcripts. I often get asked by candidates, you know, can you check my transcripts to see if I meet the requirements? Um, just due to the sheer number of inquiries that we get for this program, it's not really possible for us to go into that level of detail with every candidate who contacts us. So we would encourage you to, you know, sit with your current um academic uh, mentor if you like on your current program or your on a former program that you attended and ask their advice on whether you feel they meet their their if you're if you feel doubtful that you meet these requirements maybe go through them with with a previous um lecturer that you had on your bachelor of science degree and maybe outline to us in your um application maybe in your cv how you feel that you meet these requirements if they're not very obvious on your transcripts 
Um, so if you are currently enrolled in a BSc program with not enough biochemistry or physiology, um, UCC offers a flexi option um, program on the link attached here, which allows you to take undergraduate modules in a flexible manner um, by paying a small fee. We will obviously, um, you know, the dietetics program team do not in get involved at all with, with organizing this or approving it. All we would ask is that if you complete credits in this manner that you would upload them with your with your application when you do come to apply so we will need to see evidence that you have passed these modules and so the transcripts of these um, flexi options will need to go on your application um, again another question again I've probably said this before but I, I don't have a background in science but I'm passionate about a career change can I do an online nutrition course and then apply to the, the Masters in Nutrition and Dietetics program? Um, I'm really sorry to say that at the moment we're, we're not accepting any online nutrition courses from other universities or any other institutes for candidates who do not have a Bachelor of Science in a human biology related field. Um, you, you may be able to get entry into other programs but this is a decision that our program team has made. Um, we do offer at UCC a nine-month postgraduate diploma in nutritional sciences. To, this program requires you to have a minimum of a 2-2 degree, again, in a science discipline. Um, and this is sometimes um, a gateway into dietetics for many students because if they didn't have very much nutrition in their undergraduate degree and are finding it difficult to get into dietetics programs, they could consider doing this nine-month diploma because it is an NFQ level nine award to so the same level as this dietetics masters and it gives you um, 60 credits of advanced nutrition modules that we teach in predominantly our fourth year um, bachelor of science nutritional sciences program so this is definitely a gateway into dietetics for many students and um, obviously it is adding an extra year of study um, but some candidates find that it can it can help their their application significantly so details of that program are on the UCC website and the program director is Professor Kevin Cashman if you would like to contact him about that particular postgraduate diploma. Um, I get asked also is it best if I have uh, if is it best if I have a degree in nutrition we do give a slight weighting uh, to students who have a nutrition degree but we also do welcome applications from students without this background and we acknowledge that you know having diversity in the class of diversity of different backgrounds um, can really help um, with learning as well um, in, in this in a small class environment like this. Um, we also get asked, I am an international student, can I apply? Um, we will be welcoming international students into this programme from September 2022 onwards. So if you're an international student who is interested, you should be able to hopefully apply from November 2021 um, for entry in September of that year, of the following year. Um, obviously, you need to note the English language requirements on our website if you are not um, a native speaker. Um, another question that I get asked a lot about or we get asked a lot about is regarding Karoo approval. I've already discussed in the previous recording how the title dietitian is protected by law and so courses that train these professionals have to have approval from our profession's regula regulator which is Karoo. Um, it is not possible for third level dietetics programs to get Karoo approval before they open. This process of approval begins when the first cohort of students start their degree and so UCC has begun this pro this uh, process of approval at the, since September of 2020 and the whole process will take up, up to two years so we would hope to have career approval in place in time for the first cohort of students which will be graduating in the summer of 2022 so we would hope to get um a word on whether we've got approval or not by february 2022 um and of course, you know, we sometimes do get asked, well, what if the course does not get Karoo approval? Um, we've had several meetings with Karoo already and they have said to us that, you know, they work with third level institutions throughout the process. Um, so to basically, and, and they have not had any course before that has not received Karoo approval. This process involves an extensive amount of paperwork and mapping the program to the learning outcomes as dictated by Karoo and the, the standards of proficiency for the practice so for, for the profession and so this is extensive documentation which the program team will be are now preparing 
And so we would hope that um, if we map our course correctly to the career requirements that we hopefully will not in, in, encounter any problems in gaining career approval. How can I find out more about becoming a dietitian? Sometimes we get asked what's the difference between a dietitian and a nutritionist. You can visit the following websites to find out further information regarding the role of a dietitian. These would include the Irish Nutrition and Dietetics Institute, the British Dietetics Association and the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics in the US and the links to those websites are given on the slide. Um, sometimes we're asked of questions about placements. How do you decide where students are going on their placements? Um, well, all of our placements, as I've outlined in the previous recording, are in the South Southwest Hospital Group. So most of them are within walking distance of University College Cork. Um, there will at times be students placed outside of Cork City and um, students obviously are liable for any costs associated with accommodation while undergoing practice placement um, outside of, of where they live. Um, placements are not paid and this would be the norm in the training of allied healthcare professionals because the majority of the time that you're engaged in training you are you know either shadowing or being very heavily supervised um, and so you're not you know, you know there's there is an in intensive amount of time required from registered dietitians who are involved in student training um, to make sure that you have the necessary clinical skills and proficiencies to practice when you when you finish. Um, how do we score applications? Um, applications are scored based initially based on their personal statement, their CV, the letters of recommendation and their background degree. Um, then we as we as we are required by Carew to score applications and then we at UCC, we, we, we like to interview candidates so that we can get a sense of their personality and their interest in the course. And um, these are short uh, 10 minute um, conference calls, which are done um, through Microsoft Teams or Zoom. And we then also score those applicants on their performance at interview. We then make offers to the top 12 candidates and we usually create a waiting list um, of students who just about missed out and they're, just to say, if you are put on a waiting list, please don't worry because there generally tends to be a lot of movement um, on that waiting list as other as people take up offers elsewhere, closer to home perhaps. Um, some students pull out for a variety of reasons. So um, if you're on the a waiting list, there, there is a high chance that you may be given an offer. We receive, last year we received 65 applications um, and we're expecting this year to receive well over 100 applications. That would be the norm for most dietetics programs. So it's important that you put time into your application, into your personal statement, into your CV, um, so that when, because that's all we'll have to go on when we're shortlisting for interview. So I, I guess this takes a, a good bit of time and effort to try and put together a good application with strong letters of recommendation. Um, and that'll put you in with a good chance then of being shortlisted. Um, can I study this course part-time? No, unfortunately not. This is a full-time um, course, as are most courses that are run in Ireland and the UK. They're all full-time. Um, students are expected to be engaged with the programme full-time, nine to five each day, and um, also with time for independent study and learning. So this is most definitely a full-time course. Can I work abroad when I qualify? The answer to that question is yes, but you will have to abide by the local, the country that you're going to, their rules and registration. So um, Ireland has um, a reciprocity agreement with the US um, uh, where a student or I should say graduates can go to the US, get a job and apply to sit the RD exam. Similar in Canada, Australia, New Zealand. And you can just you know, if you're planning on moving there, you can apply to sit the, the local registration examination. In the UK, graduates will be able to register with the Councils of Profession Supplement Medicine, which means they'll be able to work um, there as well. So further information and a, and a more detailed FAQ document in PDF format is available on our website if you want to take a look at that. And I hope that I have um, tried to answer a lot of the most common questions we get today. And um, thank you again for your interest in this programme and for listening to this presentation.